Hi everyone, this is Cher from Cher and Charlie's Personal Crafts. Um, I am doing something different. I figured I would show you. Uh, this is my first time trying to make caramel apples. Now, the first thing, I'm going to get right to it. The first thing you want to have is your apples. Granny Smith and Sugar Crisp are the best apples now I'm learning as I go along also um, if you want to make caramel apples so you're going to need I got these popsicle sticks a while back from Dollar Tree and right now uh, you take the stem out of the apple you twist it sometimes they're tough to get off I'm moving over here to my pot this is hot water and it was boiling and I turned it down because this is a very important step. Take your apple and soak it into the hot water for a few seconds. And then with a clean, dry cloth, wipe off the wax. Now, I understand that this is a very important step because every single recipe that I checked I think I'm going to do this again and heat up this water a little. If the water gets warm, heat it back up. Just a few seconds and wipe off that wax because the caramel will literally fall right off, uh, slide right off the apple. I have, par sorry, I, I have par parchment paper doubled here. You don't have to do double, but that's what I do. And I took, like I said, the stem out. Take it back so you can see. And then I'm going to stick the popsicle stick straight as I can into, it's not too hard, into the apple. I'm going to try to sell these because a lot of uh, people here love caramel apples, I noticed. All right, I'm stirring it around in the hot water. And I'm hoping I, I get all the wax off. If not, when I do one apple, if it's not working correctly, then I'll go back and re-dip them. So even if you can scrub them, this one's kind of crooked, but that's okay. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten apples. So um, you're going to need there's you're going to need at least eight to ten apples um, because let me try to get this one straight like this um, because of the amount of caramel we're going to melt now I personally wish that I had purchased they have some sort some sort of containers of caramel that would have made it so much easier for me I'll get to that point after I focus a little bit on this so see how I'm kind of rubbing that wax off if it's got a couple spots on it, don't worry about it. So this is step one. And like I said, you're going to need popsicle sticks. Dollar Tree has them. So don't worry about purchasing anything unnecessarily. I'm going to finish washing the apples, and then I'll tell you step two. They're time-consuming, but they're not that hard. Okay, the next step, you like my shirt? <laughs> I love it. It's a little doggy with butterflies. Um, the next step is to, before I move on, I'm going to move you with me, is to take the apples and here that you see how you can see them on my tray with mar parchment paper and we're going to put them in the refrigerator while to chill them down because they'll accept the caramel much better if they're chilled. So at least 15 minutes while we are working on the next step for the caramel. Okay, back in the living room because this is going to be probably, aside from dipping the apples, the hardest or time consuming you're going to have. You have to have two 11 ounce packages of caramels. And I wish, like I said, I would have bought, it's probably more money. The, um, it's like in a container and I honestly don't know the name of that caramel, but I know they do sell it. So if you want to save time, then, you know, you can always buy, look it up on Amazon, 
for the uh, car free caramel. It's in a container, but I did not want to spend the money. And so I took all this time. It took me half an hour or less to unravel all the caramel. So like I said, you'll need two bags of caramel, of the caramels. You gotta, you have to un, uh, pack, uh, take the pack, little plastic wrappers off them. Some are easy, some are a little hard. And we are going to need, I'll tell you what you'll need aside from the apples, very simple. Have your toppings ready, that's very important. Um, I have some jimmies in the house. I didn't go purchase anything else. I had several uh, sugars for cause, because I bake a lot of cookies in the winter, fall and winter to sell. And so I'm gonna get them out after I get done this section of the video. So have them ready. And uh, my apples are in the refrigerator chilling. You do that at least 15 minutes. It helps, like I said, to adhere the caramel. I hope, I hope I got all the wax off. Um, also, you will need a pinch of salt into the caramel. We're gonna slowly melt this. They say a double boiler, but I have very limited pots and pans. So I'm gonna just try it. You can also do it in the microwave. Now my microwave isn't the best, but I think I'm gonna try stovetop. And you're also going to need, um, now let me get this right. Oh, look at that. Uh, I got it wet. Uh, let's see, uh, heavy whipping cream, four tablespoons. So it says on here, six to 10 apples. So I apologize. And refrigerate 15 minutes. Uh, four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream into the caramels in the pot and a pinch of salt, that's it. Now, if you wanna get some different kinds of toppings that look so delicious, you can get, what, which I do have on hand because I bake a lot, um, some ch uh, white chocolate. You can use dark chocolate and put it over the caramel before you put your jimmies on or your whatever cookies, nuts. Um, you can get crushed pretzels, like I said, crushed nuts, peanuts, I think are really good. Coconut flakes, sprinkles, which I have a lot of, or sugars. Uh, and crushed Oreos. Now, if you're going to crush the Oreos, uh, they say to take each cookie that you're going to crush up and take the center out, the vanilla center, and then crush up. You can do it in a food processor or by your hand. Um, and of course, like I told you, melted chocolate. So, okay, so we're gonna get started. Uh, you got everything you need, and we're gonna take these into the kitchen and get started and pray I don't mess it up. I hope you're all doing well. I just wanna to mention to you, I don't know if everyone watched my last video to the end. A lot of times people just skip through it, but I am off all my medication. Uh, the one I was on was uh, gave me, and I'm positive of it, uh, a, a lung condition that's very, 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's uh, very, very, da not dangerous, but let's put it this way. It's a serious illness. And that is one of the top 10 things that the medicine I'm on causes, and I've had it for five years. I've been on it five years, so I just stopped. Now they want me to go on infusions and I refuse and I'm just gonna let God take control of the wheel. So say prayers for me because I'm not giving up. Okay, so let's get to the kitchen. Okay, everyone, here we go. Uh, I got the pot. It's not the best pot in the world. I'm washing my hands for 50 million times. <laughs> okay, so Bear with me because, like I said, it's my first time. The apples are in there chilling. This apparently is going to take some time. So I'm going to put all the caramels. And as a safety tip, make sure you get all the plastic off. And we're going to put this on the low heat. So I'll probably go off her a little bit. All right, three. Let me make sure. Four tablespoons of whipping cream. So if I've just got a regular old tablespoon. I don't know what I do with my measuring spoons, but this will work. I got all my little 
um, see Jimmy's and Sugar's Out. I'll show you them in a second, but I have them all pretty much set up, ready to go. The ones that I have in the container, I'll show you them. I'm not even going to take them and put them out. So this is one, two, three, and four. All right, because I hate this pan, this pot rather. It's the, I, I'm like I said, I, I left so much stuff at my daughter's that I just figured. Uh, I know this is an awful way to be, but I just figured this, I believe, yes, this is from Angela, which I love, and you can tell I've used it a lot. So I'm going to be using this spatula. It's going to be a while to get this going, but I would preferably start it either in the microwave, do it in the microwave, or on a very low heat. Especially with electric, because electric is so, it's just so, um, we got to, we forgot the pinch of salt. See what happens when I talk? I'm going to put a pinch of salt. To me, that's like a pinch, okay? And you can't really do much until it starts melting. So I'm going to let this melt. In the meantime, I'm going to show you. This here um, stand I have is so awful. It's just flimsy. Some, you know, it always pays. You know what that old saying, get what you pay for. Spend the extra money and get what you want. Because th this one here, since I do film quite a bit. I've got these from Michael's. I think you guys will remember from one of my trips to Michael's. I love these blue and the pink. And I, I just got these today. I ran to Michael's. Sorry I didn't show you what I got. I, I'll show you a couple things. These are pretty green. These are your typical uh, multicolored jimmies. These I just got today. They're gold. They're gold jimmies, and they're so pretty. I love them. And now here, I got these in the Acme. I couldn't resist because I love this gold sugar. This gold sugar. Let me put some out. I'll show you. Look at that. I love this gold. It's just so sparkly. And I figured that would go so good on the apples. Then we have the white sugars, which I have a whole bunch away. But I really wanted this gold. And I couldn't find it. I don't even know if I saw it in Michael's. These are little beads, like pearls. And uh, so, oh, so what do we got? Oh, and we then lastly, we got the white jimmies. So I can, if, if I get the apple and it has the caramel... Um, melt it. I can always take the apple. This is my first time and kind of twist, uh, turn it around and put the sprinkles on. So that's about it. We are going to wait for this to melt slowly. Like I said, in my opinion, if you're not going to do it in the microwave, do it slow and turn a lot. So I will be back once this melts down and we'll go over the next step which is to dip the apples. So I'm gonna get the apples out in about five minutes. When it's really, when I feel like it's really melting down, I'll get the apples out. And then lastly, to make a real cute statement on a couple of the apples, I'm gonna melt down in the microwave. This is what I got at Michael's today also. Some of this uh, white artificial vanilla flavored chocolate made by Sweet tooth fairy so i got these today this because i wanted to do the, i'm going to try to sell them uh even i think for like three dollars because they're small they're small apples so i'm going to yeah i'm going to try to do that and of course give some to my grandkids um okay so i shall return i knew there was something i meant to tell you i had purchased these in dollar tree about three years ago it's like the they're little plastic bags with like candy corn, still fall, so this is perfect. And so after they say in the directions, after the apples cool, if you're gonna give them away, it's nice to put them in a plastic bag like this and put like a little ribbon around it. So we'll, we'll do that when we get there. So that's another option. 
because I got this whole bag for a dollar. That's when the prices were still a dollar. So this is starting to melt a little bit, but I can tell this pot is going to give me a hard time. I'll show you. I just got to keep a real close eye on it. So I shall return. Hi everyone. It's starting to melt really well. Well, this is the old saying, when you start something new, things can always go wrong because you don't quite know what to do or, you know, it's your first time. So I thought I'd bring this to your attention because I did read about this. It's melting very nicely, but I'm thinking, how is this little bit of caramel going to do all those apples? Well, I'm going to do what I can. It's still on very low. So I did read this. You see the discoloration in the apple? She did say if the water is really hot, just, you know, dip it, twirl it, and get it out. Because if you if the water is too hot, it'll discolor your apple. Now, is it, are they going to see that? No. Is it going to change the taste? No. But I just don't like that. So when you're dipping your apples in the hot water, when it's boiling, you shut it off and wait a couple minutes before you dip your apple in the hot water because this will happen but these i'm not gonna i'm gonna do these last because of the color and uh just eat them you know and uh see what happens i may not even do these apples i may just save them and eat them with some peanut butter okay so i thought i'd tell you that you live and learn okay ladies and gentlemen <laughs> they say when it starts to bubble it's a little too hot so i turned my heat down even lower and i am going to attempt in fact i still see some chunks of caramel so i'm going to stir it really good and then start to dip and hopefully i won't make a mess out of this i wish that stand i have would work better it looks really nice and creamy but i want to make sure i get the caramel lumps out so see how creamy it looks it's beautiful but it's bubbling so that's a little bit too hot and i wanted to get a candy thermometer they wanted to be 180 190 but the one they had was like 25 dollars in michael's i'm going to check walmart i'm like no don't think so all right so i'll be back in one second okay so first i'm going to show you what it looks like we got to get rid of we don't want them bubbles and I will get started, okay? I am, I was looking for my thermometer, but anyway, I can't find it. I had a meat thermometer. I thought maybe that would work. All right, so I have, because this is a bigger pot, I'm going to have to um, sort of t uh, turn it. So you know what I'll do? I think I'll get a spoon and put it on with a spoon since I can't really uh, because it's shallow it's so shallow I don't think this is going to work they say if the caramel apple these might not be the most beautiful in the world but I'm going to do the best that I can I think I got to get it a little warmer they say if uh, well I know one thing it's sticking So we got one. I'm not going to worry so much about the top. Okay, I'm just going to turn it. All right, so they say turn it and then wipe the bottom off after it's done dripping. Just going to let it. See, you want to get rid of them bubbles. I read a whole lot about it. When I'm doing something, I really want to know what I'm doing. And. Okay, so that one doesn't look too bad, but I do think I have to get the temperature up some. Okay, let me get this out. It's caramel out. I don't want to waste the sliver, sliver of it. It's not even a word. I don't want to waste the lip of it because it took me so long to get those caramels unraveled. All right, so I'm gonna to try to heat it up Get it a little warmer and we'll try to. I doubt very much. I'm going to turn it 
turn it this way. She said to kind of do a swirl. I, I read some, like I said, so much research on this. But I don't expect perfection uh, this first time. I really don't because I think when you do something over and over and over again, you learn to perfect things. So they're not going to be beautiful like the ones I saw on YouTube, but I'm doing my best. And I noticed the caramel apple over here it really lost a lot on the bottom. So I'm going to let it drip a little longer. And I think that has something to do with the temperature of the caramel. Let's see. Okay, so let's take that off. So I already know I've made some mistakes. All right, now. I'm going to turn that, but I'm going to put some jimmies. Keep that on low. Definitely not. Uh-oh. They're not sticking. I think I was supposed to do it right away. But see, I can absolutely tell you this caramel is not warm enough. And that's my problem. So we're going to Set you back here, and we're going to get that temperature up a little more. I just feel like that's it. See, that's where it helps to have a thermometer. All right, well, these here are just going to be regular old caramel apples. I don't know, maybe the sugars will take. Let me try to put some sugars on. Nah, they're not sticking. Okay, so there you go. You've learned something from... Cheryl, <laughs> that the caramel must be hot enough. So let that get a little warm. And I'm assuming you put the sprinkles on. I'm going to try the gold. As soon as the caramel is on the apple. I'm so mad. But I still have hope because I have this chocolate that we're white chocolate I'm going to melt so I can put that on there and then get the apples to stick. I'll be back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you these apples are not for the faint of heart. They are hard. And I think the reason I'm having such a difficult time is because the caramel was not the right temperature. And like I said, it has to be 180 to 190 degrees. And why my jimmies are not sticking is beyond me. I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to try again. Put some of these sprinkles on. Look at this mess I'm making. And they will not stick. So I, once again, I don't, look at this mess. I don't know. Let me try these. See how the, it's not sticking? If you guys have any idea what I'm doing wrong, please let me know. I'm going to go online and see if I can figure out. I am going to melt some chocolate, and maybe that will help them stick. But I did have plenty of caramel. I still have some left here. But I'm very disappointed that I can't get anything to stick. I'm going to try the white ones. Let me put some of these white ones in this container. I'm going to try. I've got two more apples and those are the ones. So I had plenty of caramel. Now I know it's hot enough because yeah, it's nice and soft. So the problem is I would recommend you to have a definitely a candy thermometer because th this is just I remember they just they would just dip it once turn it and they were done. So I'm not doing something right. I, I don't know, but I really tried. And like I said, there's plenty of caramel. Let me try to do this over the sink. There's plenty of caramel. All right, so you really got to put those jimmies on immediately, immediately. This one took okay, not bad. 
That's why I'm going to take the next step. Look at this mess. <laughs> Look, Cheryl at work. I'm going to take the next step and I'm going to, because I don't want them plain. I'm going to dip some of that vanilla. I'm sure they're going to taste good. I have one more apple, the discolored one. So we're going to give this the last try. And yeah, let me make sure this is still warm. It's not easy. I'm, I'm going to be honest. They make it look so easy on there. But with this caramel, and maybe I don't have the right pot. I don't know. They had like a smaller quart pot. I don't know how many quarts. But I'm just going to put this caramel on there. I don't care. Twist it. Twist it. And I still say that my caramel was not hot enough. And that was my problem. So, let me go dip it in the jimmies right away. Yeah, you have to put the jimmies on right away, guys. Because this stuff, and you know, if I had a thermometer, maybe that would help. But, see, it's just, I don't know. I don't think it's the right temperature. But they're all done. And I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I am going to... Melt the chocolate, the white chocolate, in the cup, and I'm going to see what I can do with it. I'm going to see how I can fix these apples up. Be back. Hi, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm just... Hold on. Okay, let's try again. I'm sorry. Honestly... Um, no lie, I have shortness of breath, and this ordeal with making candy apples was kind of what I expected. I was scared to do it myself, let alone on camera. Oh my god, I'm at 27 minutes. Okay, the candy apples are in the fridge, and they have to chill, because I went back and looked at the directions, before... I add the white chocolate drizzle to try to make them look prettier. Now, I know it doesn't matter because they're caramel apples, so they're going to taste good no matter what. But you know how I am. As a crafter, if something doesn't look exactly what I expected, I get very upset. I really do. And I get determined to fix it and make it look better. And I would say 50% of the time I succeed. But these are the ugliest candy caramel apples I have ever seen. Um, but I have to fix them. So they're cooling and then I have to melt. I started to melt the white chocolate that I got in Michael's. After I'm all done, at the end of the video, I'm going to take pictures. But in my opinion, let's call them Cheryl's Ugly Caramel Apples. And I'll tell you this, I don't quit. The next time... I make caramel apples, I'm going to be ready. Because I did a lot of research on these apples. And I think, uh, let me just tell you a couple things. I know I'm running over. And you guys probably won't watch this anyway. But one, get a candy, um, a candy, what do you call it? A temperature gauge, whatever they call it. Thermostat. You must have it. Because I know that the caramel was definitely too cold it wasn't it wasn't hot enough because once i got it really really hot and swirled them in there it was much better i got to go back and find out why these uh, jimmies and the sugars didn't stay i don't know why i have to research it and i'll get back to you um and let's see get the right pot this pot was too open and shallow i need a deeper pot about i don't know if it's three quarts, four, I don't know, but one narrower. So make sure you have the right pot. And I would recommend Teflon or something of that nature or, or uh, ceramic because this is not the best pot to work with. Other than that, uh, whatever I find out, I'll get back to you, but I will take pictures of the caramel apples and I do apologize. I did the best that I could. Um, also, because I'm off medication, I'm gonna have a lot of side effects like this red face. Every time I go off the 
targeted therapy, which I've been off of, I'm done. I get red, so don't get alarmed. <laughs> but because everybody that sees me in the hall, oh my God, your face is red. I can't help it. So God bless, and I'm sorry it took so long. I really tried, and you will get pictures because I'm not giving up. Take care. God bless. Charlie will be back over the weekend.